I'm excited because today I'm making one of my favorite Italian meals, shrimp scampi with an amazing lemon garlic sauce. If you're a fan of seafood, you're going to love this restaurant quality dish. I'm using frozen shrimp. Compared to the thawed pieces at the store, you just don't know how long it's been sitting out, which can give a mushy texture and strong odor. These are 16 to 20 count that have already been peeled and deveined. Place shrimp in a colander and run cold water over until no longer icy, about three minutes. Shake off the excess moisture. I have one pound of shrimp and I'm going to season it with a half teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Just stir to coat the pieces. I like to keep the tails on because it's going to add a nice briny flavor to the dish, but if you'd like to, you can remove them. These are nice large pieces so they won't cook too quickly in the pan. Now set this aside. For maximum flavor, this dish uses lots of fresh ingredients. Start by dicing some shallots. Cut off the tip and root end. Cut in half lengthwise. Peel off the papery skin. Cut lengthwise into eighth inch thick strips. Then make a cut parallel down the center and chop into eighth inch dice. Repeat the process with the remaining pieces. This ingredient is great to use because it has qualities of onion and garlic, so you get two for one. We need half cup. Now we can't have an Italian dish without some garlic. Cut off both ends, then use the side of the blade to smash. This makes it a lot easier to peel. Use the fanning motion to mince. This breaks it down into really small pieces and intensifies the garlic flavor. This should be finely chopped so you don't get big chunks of garlic in your teeth. <laughs> we need one tablespoon. Lemons are going to add a nice tangy flavor to the sauce. I always zest it because there's a lot of aromatic flavor compounds in the peel. We need one teaspoon. Cut the lemon in half. Squeeze out the juice. This adds a nice bright acidity. We need one third cup. Rum with tomatoes add a nice juicy flavor and sweetness to the dish. Cut them in half lengthwise and then quarter. Cut along the flesh to remove the pulpy seeds. Cut lengthwise into quarter inch thick slices. Turn and cut into quarter inch dice. We need half cup. Mmm, parsley adds a nice herbaceous note to the dish and a pop of green color. Use the blade to quickly remove the leaves. Just pick off any stems and discard. You could also use freshly sliced basil or oregano. Gather into a pile and use the back and forth rocking motion to chop it all down. We need one tablespoon. Make sure to save some for garnish. In a large pot, bring four quarts of water to a boil. Stir in one tablespoon of kosher salt until dissolved. My family loves it when I serve this dish with angel hair pasta. Because the shrimp cooks very quickly, we don't want it to get tough and rubbery, so we're going to cook the noodles first. I have some boiling seasoned water, and this is gonna add a nice flavor to the pasta. Add one pound of dried pasta to the water. Stir a few times to prevent the noodles from sticking together. Cook, stirring occasionally until al dente. Drain and cover to keep warm. Heat a large skillet over medium-low heat. Add two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon butter. Once the butter is melted, add half a cup of diced shallots, one tablespoon minced garlic, and a quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes. Stir and cook until the shallots are tender and garlic is fragrant, but not browned, about two minutes. Gently cooking the ingredients in the hot fat is going to draw out the fat-soluble flavor compounds from the onions and shallots and the hot capsaicin from the peppers, adding a ton of flavor to the dish. Now add the shrimp in a single layer and just cook until it forms a loose C-shape so it doesn't get tough and rubbery. Turn the heat up to medium. Cook for two minutes, not moving the shrimp. Flip over and cook until just cooked through about one minute. Transfer to a clean bowl. Turn heat up to medium high. 
and add in one teaspoon lemon zest, a third cup lemon juice, and a half cup of white wine. Bring to a boil, stir occasionally, and allow the sauce to reduce by half, about four to six minutes. The lemon juice and white wine has reduced. Now we're going to add chilled butter. This is going to help create a nice thickened emulsified sauce. Turn heat down to low and whisk in three tablespoons of chilled butter, add cooked shrimp, a half a cup of diced tomatoes, and one tablespoon of parsley. Stir and cook until warmed through, about one to two minutes. Wow, this looks incredible, and oh my gosh, the garlic, the lemon smells amazing. The shrimp is coated in the buttery sauce. You could serve it as is as an appetizer with crusty bread, but since we made some pasta, let's plate it up. I'm adding the shrimp to some angel hair pasta. It's nice and light. It's gonna soak up that sauce. Right before serving, garnish with a little bit of cracked black pepper freshly chopped parsley, and a lemon wedge. This gives the guests a chance to squeeze on some fresh lemon juice right before digging in. I hope you enjoyed learning the science behind shrimp scampi, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. If you're looking for another delicious seafood meal, check out my pan-seared salmon right here. Super crispy and amazing. See you in the next video. Let's add another shrimp on top. Oh yeah. <laughs>